Well, good morning guys. It's uh, real early. It's 518. I'm about to head out to the mighty Niagara River with a buddy of mine and I'm um, going to try to get after some smallies. It's a little breezy today, a little choppy probably out on the water, so hopefully it's not too bad, but I'm tired, but I got my coffee, so we're all good. I'm um, going to get out there and throw some swim baits and see how many we can get after. Last week was a really good week. Last Saturday, caught 16 of them. I wanted to get that on video, but I was super mad because I forgot my cage for my camera, so couldn't record. But I have it this week, and hopefully I didn't forget anything else, and hopefully we can get after it. Alright, I'll see you out on the water. Well, you'll see me out on the water. Waiting out here in the river this morning. Oh, it's beautiful out here. A little breezy, but just beautiful. How's the clarity up there? How's the water clarity up there? Did you say you can't? Did you say you can't? Oh, that's... That's comforting. No, that's comforting. <laughs> Man, last time we were out here, we could see miles. There was like 10 feet of visibility last time we were out here. Well, I'm just going to... I know it gets a little, like... To me, it gets kind of sketch up there. No, I know, I just don't know that layout that well yet. So I was catching them off of that point up there. There's the roadway, sun's coming up. Sunsets, the sunrise is dying up, dying out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, the river is just pretty, really choppy. It's a lot murkier than I was anticipating. So I just gotta grab some chartreuse and head back out. Definitely it's gonna be about changing up and trying to find them today, find what they're hitting. It's way different than I was anticipating. So, it's gonna be interesting trying to find them. All right. There's one. Hello, guy. Hey there, buddy. Let's go. First bass. Love to see it. Get some line out. Hey, take it. It's better than getting skunked. Little guy. Huh. Well, I don't know if I got this guy on video. But that's a pretty nice smallie. It's a pretty good size. Yeah!
our water clarity is definitely getting better. Time to switch back to natural. so much better in just that short little bit that's crazy that hit. All right, time to send it. No idea where that landed. I think one of the things that's most crazy to me is like when I fish in the river, it's like you just come to the river like this, and like a, like a, a giant body of water just like send it out there. Yeah. Like, that's cra yeah, it's crazy. Like I always used to hate living in this area because I never knew where to go. And I'm like, we got nowhere good near us. And then like Western New York is one of the best places in New York to fish.
probably just from the river and the lake alone. Ah, oh, that's pretty far out there. That's a nice size. Be free. Oh, I forgot to stop the video. That was on a faster retrieve. That was on a faster retrieve. There we go. Look at this guy coming back in and getting all up in my grill. He's just about to take my spot. What the heck? Can you believe this guy? Worst kind of fisherman. Guys, don't be like him. You see somebody, you see somebody catching fish, you shouldn't just be, you shouldn't just be coming to the spot now. You should have been there a long time ago. In our first spot though, seeing all those fish come out of the water, a whopper plopper would be so much fun to fish. Not even, I mean they're jumping out of the water now, so why not just... I have only a few times. What? I have only a few times. Yeah. Like last summer there was one day in I think July where I was doing pretty good on, I call like yeah. six or seven on a plopper. In the creek. Yeah, I feel like when it, like they hit, like it's like a madness. But then, like if you like if you can't get them to, to hit. Yeah. It's like uh. Yeah. Cause the one day, like the week after I hit that one, um, like the seven or eight or 
or six or seven or day. Yeah. I uh, I came back to there and we, I brought my dad and we only caught, brought out like one. He only brought out one bass, but then again, that is when I caught my 29 incher in the creek, of uh, the that northern pike. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was on a plopper, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, you're walking through knee deep water, reeling that thing in. But that was like right after it rained, so the water, like, the water cooled down a bit. Nah. This is about average of what I've been catching. Thank you. Yeah, he and he just swam in between my feet, and he got stuck there. Right here, Colton. Oh, that's a nice fat chunk. Check her out. That's a pretty one. Nice, light colored one. It was out there pretty far. Free. 